Hello, Anomaly here, and welcome to another Quick Bytes video. Today we're doing something again, slightly different. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about a tool called Questionably Epic Live, or QE Live for short. Um, basically this is a tool created by Volk, um, and it does essentially what RaidBots does only for healers in the various different healer specs. Um, so today I wanted to talk through quickly uh, two important sections of the tool. Number one, top gear, basically helping you pick the best sort of items out of your bags to equip. And number two, uh, upgrade finder, uh, which will be able to show you where the you know potential upgrades can come from, either other raid or different Mythic Plus dungeons. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna just jump right in um, and we're gonna start. So you're gonna basically need two things. You're gonna need uh, the simulation craft add-on. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, so you can pull that up. And number two, you're gonna need um, web browser open to questionlyepic.com slash live. I'll also put a link to that in the description. Um, so first up, we'll start in game. Essentially, what you'll need to do is take your character. Uh, you're going to type in the chat uh, just backslash sim c, um, and what that is going to do is it's going to bring up this little window with all of your text pre-selected. Um, easy thing to do here. You're just going to hit Control C or Command C if you're on Mac, basically copying all the text out of this sim c output, uh, and you'll use that in a couple of steps from now. But I wanted to start it here, so the rest of the time we'll spend in the web browser. That's basically all you need. So it's simc add-on, type slash simc into the chat. This window pops up, copy this text, and then we move on um, to the next step, which is to head over to questionablyepic.com slash live, uh, which is this view right here. So if this is the first time you're accessing the app, you'll quickly have to create a character. Um, basically, you'll create whatever character you want to um, compare gear to. So in this case, I'll create my monk, little uh, nice little, you know, Mistweaver Monk on Malganus, he's pretty cool. Um, undead, Benthir, fun. Um, all right, so we'll be presented with this. Um, if you have other characters that you play, you could add your Shaman, your, I guess you could add your Disc Priest if you wanted. The rest of the Shamans don't exist anymore, so you shouldn't add one of those. But in any event, you can add any of your healers and your characters here. Um, and say, like I mentioned, we're gonna touch on Top Gear. So you're gonna head over to the Top Gear slot, click Top Gear, presented with something that looks like there's nothing there. But this is where we're going to use that SimC output. Um, so basically, you will quickly click Import Gear, and you just paste in Control V um, or Command V, paste in that previously copied text, and click Submit. And now you all of your gear is nicely loaded in. Um, one quick thing from a playstyle perspective: under Optional Settings, you are going to want to select if you are running Venthyr, the Sinister Teachings playstyle. This will, of course, change some of the logic behind the scenes from a um, from a questionably epic perspective. Make sure you're on Sinister Teachings if you are running Venthyr. You can also right here add uh, add additional items manually. Like if you want to compare your current gear set to like a higher item level of something, you can always do that here. We're not going to cover that today, but keep that in mind. Um, the rest of the page is going to look very something very similar to raid bots, where you're going to select the gear you want to compare in your comparisons, basically giving you your best setup. Um, so I already have this sort of pre-select about what I want to compare, but for you, look through this gear, see what you want to compare, see what you think you might, might be better, might be an upgrade. Um, for me, we're going to look at rings. So I've got an old ring with Leech, just got this new drop. Maybe it's better, maybe it's not. It's first haste, so maybe better. Um, we'll also do this crit mastery one um, just to sort of show you. And then from a trinket perspective, um, really going to select all of my high-level trinkets, right? I don't know exactly which trinket's going to be best, but let's check it out. And that's it. You select as many different items as you can. Um, there is a limit. So down here in the bottom, you'll be able to see that limit. Um, however, you know, we're nowhere close. And once you're there, you just click go and you're presented with this page, which will show you what your best combination is. Any slot that is changed will be outlined. So in this case, based on what I had equipped, I want to unequip some of my rings, um, re-equip the signal of the collapsing stars, and then I'm going to change out both my trinkets to both unbound changeling and elegy. Um, this would give me my essentially best setup. They then, uh, QE Live then compares or shows you alternatives, meaning in this case, if I were to, instead of equipping Elegy and Changeling, I equipped Changeling and Salias, I'm essentially losing six HPS or 0.04%, which means maybe there's a world where I play Salias over Elegy because it's so close. Um, the other option too that you see here is there's another two rings. So maybe I keep my lower idle level ring with leech uh, and use it a little bit longer uh, and that would be you know a 0.1% sort of loss in you know hps basically um that's how you use this to sort of compare gear you can make more informed choice of saying hey 
you know, really, I don't want to run Elegy and Changeling. I'd like to run Salias. Gives me a little bit more crit. Um, balance gear a little bit better. Balance some stats a little bit better. Um, so yeah, that is um, that is one way. So that's what, how you can use this tool to sort of compare gear. Um, so now I'm going to jump back in. I'm actually going to equip what it tells me to equip as my best gear. And we're going to Upgrade Finder to see if we can find any upgrades. Let me just head back into game. We're going to take my character. We're going to equip Changeling. Give me the Elegy, and then get rid of this old ring, and we're going to put on that guy. Alrighty, so then what we're going to do is we're going to just type slash simc again, get a new output, because this will now show us what we have exactly equipped, and we're going to head back in here. So from here, we're going to go back to the main page of QE Live, and we're going to Upgrade Finder. And basically, we're in there. We're going to be presented with a very similar idea. We're going to re-import our gear, because we've made some changes, we've made some updates. And now we're going to select where we want to where we want to ch check for upgrades. Um, for me, I really only let's say I'm the type of player I really only raid. I don't do Mythic Plus at all, so I don't really care. Just to remove the noise, we're just going to move this slider all the way to the left. Um, you could move it up to the top, meaning hey, you want to see if there's any Mythic Plus upgrades from anywhere. This slider basically sort of puts a cap at where the item level is of the items you're checking on. You can do a similar thing with PvP ranking, where like if you PvP, you want to look for upgrades there. You can do that. Uh, and then also you can select the raid difficulty. In this case, we're, I'm a heroic slash mythic raider. So we'll select heroic and mythic. Look for upgrades there. Um, and then from there, you just click go. And you're presented with a maybe confusing, but it's actually not that confusing view of all the gear. Um, in this case, that drops from Sep Sepulcher. Um, and you can see boss by boss where your upgrades are. Um, so in this case, if you look, it looks like I have, and, and most of this is grayed out, meaning not an upgrade at all. But there's a couple of items that are highlighted, such as the boots from Mythic Prototype Pantheon. Very, very minor upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. As we scroll down, um, you'll see a ring from Lehuvum. A um, little bit of another really, really minor upgrade, but a slight upgrade. You'll also see tier pieces, if they are upgrades, sort of dotted lined. Um, and that's just to call them out as tier pieces. As you can see, you know, grips, even heroic gloves are going to be an upgrade for me. I think I'm still wearing normal gloves. Um, so you can see it's split here, heroic and mythic boss by boss. You know, her, you know, mythic legs could be massive upgrade. Um, and then a, and a solid upgrade from a cloak perspective from Lords of Dread. So all in all, this is how you'll see your upgrades. You can also look at this view slightly differently by scrolling back up to the top. Um, and over here on the left-hand side, you'll see where it says upgrades by slot. Selecting that will show you, oh, I have one upgrade from a shoulder perspective, source Lords of Dread. So Lords of Dread shoulders are going to be an upgrade for me based on all the different raid difficulties I selected, you know, things like that. This um, upgrade view would look a little bit more cluttered or there'd be more options if you were using like adding in Mythic Plus gear or dungeon gear because it would compare all the gear from all the different dungeons um, for you. Um, but yeah, that's how you at sort of in, at a high level use QE Live. There are other sections of QE Live, like legendary breakdowns, individual item compares, covenant comparisons, trinket comparisons, all that fun stuff um, that you could check out. But, you know, for now, we'll just go over that sort of high level thing. Um, also, um, you know, huge shout out to Valk for putting this tool together. Um, you know, check out, you know, QE Live, um, questionablyepic.com. There'll be links all over the place for it. Um, it's a great resource, a great tool. I really highly recommend you check this out. And really, to be fair, I highly recommend you support the dude because right now this is like the best resource we have as healers um, and probably the best supported resource we have as healers in terms of making informed gear decisions. So with that being said, um, we did run a little bit long today, but, uh, but thank you very much for hanging out. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. And as always, if there's other topics you want me to cover, other things you want me to go through, you know, just leave a comment, ping me in Discord. I'm always in peak. Um, and other than that, have a good rest of your day. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.